welcome to another episode of Follows, an NHD podcast. I'm Tamika. The pandemic saw a shift in the number of people living in the corporate area as remote work encouraged relocation in what some would deem less popular parishes and towns. Here to speak to us about whether rural is the new urban is managing broker of Benjamin's Realty Services Limited, Judy Benjamin. Hi, Judy. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me, Tamiko. Some people thrive in the city, mm -hmm. some don't. For those persons against living in the rural areas, what is it that you'd like to say to them? Well, I think that it is, we have to redefine it. Um, years ago, we could say, you know, what is rural? Rural would have been where many of us parents were, <laughs> a little town outside of a city, uh, maybe a farming community and so on. But now we find that we have to define, redefine it. Um, we have city centers, I would want to call them, popping up all over what used to be rural mm -hmm. in Linstead, the outskirts of Bog Walk, all of Old Harbour, that whole stretch. So for us to really say rural, we have to be careful of what, what we're talking about. Now, traditionally, it would be a farming farming area right. that don't have certain services or have, you know, government services, maybe have one school and so on. But we, find, we have found that we have our financial services all over the island along with some government services and other businesses so whereas somebody would have to travel to kingston to get a service done they have to come to the city they don't have to do that anymore mm -hmm. so it really is something for us to think about in how we define it um however living outside of our city center mm -hmm. is is i wouldn't say rural but it has become attractive um, we have developments popping up along the North Coast where people during the pandemic, as you mentioned, um, left Kingston, re relocated there and are working remotely. They may come to Kingston twice a week right. and with the highway, it's easier. So we have to look at what we consider rural now mm -hmm. and just work with it. So you'd basically say based on your definition and what you're seeing, mm -hmm. the idea of rural is becoming dead. It is because we have, we still have interior towns and settlements, which are still rural. A lot of them are in the hills of St. Anne or St. Catherine, St. Mary, along that, you know, the inner areas of the island are still rural, but really people who are coming to work every day are, are coming from communities that are becoming developed even in some of those areas you know mm -hmm. so living outside of a city center is how i would like to define it <laughs> <laughs> um we still have maybe a community feeling mm -hmm. we still have that country vibe many times right. which was something that we we're discussing in our rural living but i think that people really are just living wherever they can find somewhere that's comfortable and affordable and they are, they are also considering access to the city centers mm -hmm. so whereas you may be 10 miles out of linstead you're still close to a city center or montego bay which is a big city mm -hmm. and so on so i think we have to be careful about how we think about it because with the road network improving even though we have more improvements to be made it is, we don't have as much rural living as we used to, from my perspective, right? You've touched on it a bit, but I want you to go into greater details. Mm -hmm. For persons who live in the city centre, yes. <laughs> as you so put it, what should they expect if they decide to transition to what we'll call it now? Um, the outside <laughs> of the city, city centre. Um, so, we have developments happening all over the island. You may find 20 homes in one area, gated community, anything like that. What you're going to find is that the convenience, certain things will not be as convenient, not as easy for you to access. Mm -hmm. um, some of the government services, you may have to travel a little distance to, to get to them. Um, and you may not have the same city vibe, like the nightlife and the places to go in the evening and so on. But I think that, I mean, right across the island, you see entrepreneurs getting into businesses all across the island to support the developments that are happening. So um, you may have a little bit better quality of air, breathing, you don't have the <laughs> smog, but I think that um, it is something for us to really think about. Um, I find that we have in the gated communities all over, I mean, some places you drive and you're like, whoa, you know, you see this beautiful development there. So those people are living outside of a city center, but they are not living rural. 
what would you say are some of the benefits of migrating from the city center mm -hmm. to outside <laughs> of the city center? Um, well, I think that there's a lot of things to consider. Firstly, you may be able to get more for your money in purchasing. I get a bigger space, maybe a yard and so on, which we would not, you would not be able to get that in this main cities. Um, I also think that the, you know, it is so funny you ask, I have, to, I have to stop myself, but it's just so <laughs> funny you ask because we were just, I was having a conversation last night and we we're talking about the loss of community living. Oh, wow. A lot of us grew up with community living, your neighbor, when you come home from school, you have to talk to her, tell her hello, and you're hello, just it's a different done. exactly, <laughs> you know. So um, even even community living in Kingston, you know, we had communities that would the train come out on the road and play, even though you're in town. But what has happened is that with the, I believe that when you go into the countryside or outside of Kingston and the big cities, you're able to cultivate that more easily mm -hmm. because you can, you will have a yard you know you children run outside and make sure neighbor we look at them in in kingston we, our culture have kind of moved a little bit from that community feeling and that's that is a product of our construction what demand what we have to, to live in mm -hmm. so i think that that is a big benefit in order to get that community feeling back in the country if people live in outside of the city centers I think they're more able to do that. It's more natural. Mm -hmm. Plus, as I said before, fresh air, fruit trees and around you. Bigger backyards. Bigger backyards, you know? And I think that that is one of the main things for it. Be more money for your house, whatever <laughs> you're buying, you get a bigger, more for your money, I should say, um, and the quality of life. Um, you have to also though, consider your transportation costs, but that's something that will increase, oh, yes, especially if you're yes. traveling into the city for, for work. So that's, that's what I think it is. So basically, Judy, mm -hmm. you're saying there is no rural, there's just living. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think that we have to, um, the rural is less and less. And even, you see, rural connotates a farming, a type of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And even that is being bombarded with modern things. So our rural living is not as rural as it was. <laughs> that's what I think. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about just rural living or as you said, living outside yes. of the city center. Yes. And you've brought a great deal of insight to what many would consider an unexplored topic. Yes. So thank you so much for coming to our podcast. You are very welcome and thank you for having me. You're welcome. Okay. Remember to subscribe to the NHC's YouTube channel so you can keep up with what we're doing here at the National Housing Trust. Until then, keep making it a full house.